I'm Maxim Antonov. Our company is Avia Conversion Limited. We are based on the knowledge and expertise acquired in the Soviet Union military industry. In the beginning of this century, the uh, navigation system based on satellites uh, satellite navigation like GPS or Russian GLONASS uh, penetrated all, all sides of the life and technology. Everybody has now the navigation using GPS or GLONASS in their PCs, pocket box and mobile phone. The military also uses GPS navigation in all areas and applications. Each soldier, military unit, uses GPS navigation and the command knows the position of troops, tanks, airplanes and other things. Also, the clever weapons or smart weapons, high accuracy weapon, weapons based on the GPS navigation appeared in the arsenal of US Army and Russian, Russian Army and all other armies which use navigation, satellite navigation, bombs and cruise missiles. This is a normal story of sword and shield take took place in this area. So the sword of clever bombs and cruise missile appeared. And our company invented the shield against the sword. In 1997, the first time exhibited the jammer against uh, GPS and GPS navigated bombs and cruise missiles. It took place in Russian exhibition Max 97. At that time, U.S. Army, U.S. Army people searched around this exhibition for very good and clever ideas, and they found our company. They were surprised about our products, and we started to work together. Uh, not to work together, but really work with U.S. Army Material Commons. So U.S. Army was the first customer of, of our company in this product. Since that time, we got uh, it was a, a war in Iraq where President Bush claimed that our company supplied GPS jammers to Baghdad regime, which prevented U.S. Uh, bombing Baghdad and uh, other other cities by uh, clever weapons, precise bombs. These claims of President Bush was the best promotion from our for our company and. We got the very good promotion. We became well, world known in this very no, very narrow side of the uh, electronic warfare. We are a niche company which is focused on electronic warfare, electronic warfare for navigation, electronic warfare for against radars, electronic warfare against communications. For example, we now promote the situation with pirates in Aden Gulf and near Arabic countries in Africa. The pirates use GPS navigation and satellite phones. That's why they found the target, the rich ships in the sea, attack them and take money from the owners. We suggest to put GPS jammers and jammers against satellite communication. This rather cheap equipment can prevent the occupying ship. For example, the big tanker of Saudi Arabia costed their, their owners about 10 million dollars of money to release this tank from the pirates. The cost of our equipment in 10, 20 times less than this money. But if they installed GPS jammer and jammer against satellite communication, they could prevent the attack to their tanker because pirates without knowing the navigation, knowing coordinates of the ships and cannot communicate with each other, they can find the ship in the wide ocean. The ship, the ship is too big that and uh, the they can use not only GPS navigation, because before GPS navigation, they flew in the sea. It's important to know exact position near the coast, but in the sea, 
one kilometer left, one kilometer right, it's not really bigger. But for the pirates it's important because the distance distance and from the ship where from the small ship it's uh, until the level of horizon is about 11 12 kilometers and if the ship start to radiate jamming against navigation pirates cannot see a, behind the line of horizon but the ship because they, they can radiate signals and suppress navigation of the small ships of pirates and the ship big ship can be behind the line of horizon so pirates cannot see the ship they can they can be they can got instruction from their uh, base from their base on the coast that the ship is going at this position at this place in the ocean because ships send the information because due to international rules but pirate ship must go to this precision point in the ocean but without navigation GPS navigation the pirate boat can find this point in the ocean as soon as the pirate small boat gets into area when we suppress satellite phone they can they stop they start they stop to receive instruction where to to go prices for this equipment is the both of two sets is, a, is about maybe 80 80 80 thousand dollars the cost of this equipment is quite small in comparison with the cost of money which the owners of ship should pay to the pirate now I think it's an issue for insurance company does insurance company make make the instructions for the owners of the ship to put this equipment and in this case the cost of the insurance should be very low approximately all our clients would like to sign with us this undisclosure agreement so I can refer to that it's about 20 30 watts 20 watts in comparison with what with the power of incoming signal from the satellite in it in it's in in million times more powerful than the signal from the satellite our modern system is designed and built to prevent the navigation using all those modern navigation systems yes because here we see customers from different different uh, countries not from Arabic Gulf but from US Europe Far East Middle East it's a good place